from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I don't like it. Me neither. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that aims not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Right down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. It's Thursday and time for another edition of Like Us 101. Can you attend my class? It is for your own good. I mean, a girl decides how far she's going to let you go in the first five minutes. You in my class? I am today. I want to ask you a question first. Listen, you're my older brother. Let me ask you some advice. You are a married man, right? I am about to be a married man. What can I expect from this marriage thing, huh? Oh, what is the honest scoop? The honest scoop, first month, from the beginning, it's terrific. It's great. Second month, you know, things calm down a little bit. Third month, looking through your old phone numbers, old girlfriends. By the fourth month, <laughs> fourth month, you're just, you're numb. You know, just, it's incredible. So by the fifth month, hopefully... Football season starts. Football. You got ball games. Right. You're betting ball games. Yeah. You got Monday night. And that's I am how so, one coach I am so that, glad we had this chat. Really, oh, thank you. You really answered my question. It's like it's 101, the ongoing on air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think. I am your professor. This is my classroom. Class is in session. This is where we teach the tenets of Like Is 101, and if you are new to this classroom, welcome. We always make a point of telling you what kind of class this is not. So if you registered incorrectly, you might have to go back to the Bursar's office and uh, choose another class. You might have to re-register. First and foremost, I am not here to advise you on marriage. If you are married and trying to fix a marriage, I've been divorced four times. I am not in a position to help you fix a marriage, and I don't claim to be an expert in that area. So if you came here to get marital advice, tune away now. Or sit back and listen to people who want to get laid. And as anybody who's married will tell you, there's a big difference between being married and getting laid. Generally, one does not follow the other. You understand where I'm coming from. The purpose of this uh, class is not to teach you how to improve your relationship or how to kiss up to your girlfriend. We do not support the idea of having a girlfriend, certainly not before you are rich and successful and living your dream. And we never recommend marriage to men at all. We are opposed to marriage for men. We believe there is no benefit for a man to be married. The purpose of this class is to teach men how to get laid while spending as little money, energy, and time as is necessary to get what we want. Dating equals porking. We go on a date to get laid, and many of you pussies out there Forget that that's the purpose of a date. The purpose of a date is not to hear your girlfriend tell you why she supports Barack Obama. The purpose of a date is not to go out there and watch French films or to try the new flavor of chai latte over at the Starbucks. The purpose of a date is not to walk hand in hand and look at sunsets. The purpose of a date is to get intercourse. If you're not getting intercourse, you're with the wrong person. I can't make this any clearer. I can't. There are basic rules. Basic rules that are time-tested. 
Most of the rules of Lycus 101 come from mistakes that I've made in my life or mistakes I've seen other people make. And I've learned from them. And I pass my wisdom on to you. You can argue with me, but I'm telling you these are battle-tested rules of engagement. First and foremost, the purpose of a date is to get laid. That's why you're out there. If you have a date scheduled and the purpose is not to have intercourse, cancel it now. Now, that's not to say you will get intercourse on the first date, because uh, we believe in giving a woman three chances to find out if there's chemistry with you. But uh, we believe in the three strikes you're out rule here at Lycus 101. If she does not put out after three dates, it's time to move on. Can't make it any clearer than that. It's time to go. That's first and foremost. Secondly, very important to remember this, we do not believe in spending money on women. We spend as little as we can, and the maximum amount we spend in an evening is 40 bucks. That's the maximum. Any more than that, and it doesn't make any difference, it doesn't make it any more likely that you're going to get laid. The idea is to spend enough money to put enough alcohol in her system so she will make a very bad decision that she will regret for the rest of her life. And you will be the cause of it. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. I'm just being honest with you. I mean, when she meets you and she's completely sober, she's not sure she wants to have sex with you or anybody. But after you buy her a couple of drinks, you loosen her up, you lube her up, and suddenly, just like you have made bad decisions when you are drunk, right, boys? She will do the same. You want to be the cause of it. Later on, when she believes that men are a-holes, men are pigs, men are jerks, you want her to be thinking about you. Just remember, every time a woman starts complaining about all her exes, ever notice how many jerks women have been out with? How many creeps? How many pigs? Oh, and they love to talk about it, too. But you notice that's who they keep going out with. You want to be one of the pigs. You want to be one of the creeps. You don't want to be the nice guy whose shoulder she can cry on. Because trust me when I tell you, Bruce, that after she has sat there telling you about all her problems and all the guys who are jerks, after all those late nights when she asks if she can come over and tell you her problems... I've seen this happen to a good friend of mine. You know who she's going to call first? You. She's going to call you first when she finally meets the next guy of her dreams, and she'll want you to be the first one to know about it. He's so wonderful, and he's so cute. And there you'll be, Lance. You'll be sitting there, uh, you know, flopping around again like a fish out of water, not getting anything, while the woman you've been listening to and being the nice guy for as has hooked up with still another jerk. You need to be the jerk. You need to be the creep. I know many adult men who are students in this class, grew up with single mothers who have essentially brainwashed them into believing that they should be sensitive and they should cry once in a while and they should pee sitting down. I know there are many of you out there. And many of you have been told how much you have to respect women and all this stuff. You need to unlearn all of that. You need to do the opposite of what you were taught. Anything that seems to make sense to you, do the opposite. Feel like sending flowers? Don't send flowers. Feel like spending $300 on dinner? Spend nothing on dinner. Don't even go to dinner. Feel like renting a limo for the evening and giving a special evening to some special lady? Pah, forget it. Your job is to get as much sex as you get and spend you can get and spend as little money as possible. That's your goal. If you can spend zero, that's the best. Avoid having dinner with her. Having dinner with her is wrong for two very important reasons. One, it costs money. And you don't want to spend money on some broad you may never see again. And number two, the more time you spend talking to her, the more likely it is you're going to say something that's going to be the perfect excuse for her to tell you you're not getting any. 
Some of the things I've said over the years, let me tell you some of the things I have said over the years. I'm going to just use my, my own experience so that you understand. Here are some of the things. Back when I used to have dinner with women and you know, used to get a bottle of champagne and sit there and talk to a woman, here were some of the things we said while we were chit-chatting over champagne, and suddenly I was out in the cold. I only realized it later on that, that, that I was out in the cold for that reason. But here, let's review. These are all actual things I said that were later used against me. Okay. Well, one woman I told I was in favor of abortion. That's all it took. The fact that I was in favor of abortion. She had no problem with fornication. She just had a problem with abortion. I was in favor of abortion. Out. I'm an atheist. Out. I couldn't afford to graduate college. Out. I'm a libertarian. Out. I like a certain band. Fill in the name of any band. Trust me when I tell you. You tell a chick you like Rage Against the Machine, there's a chance that some chick's going to say, Ew. I like Lincoln Park. Ew. 311. Ew. Why even tell them that stuff? They think somehow that says something about you. But in reality, they're just looking for excuses to tell you you can't get sex. I once told a chick when I lived in the 213 area code, say it. (laughs) You kidding me? By the way, I don't care what area code you live in in Southern California. Tell them you live in 310. Get a cell phone. By the way, get a cell phone. Get a, you know how VoIP phones, these voice over internet protocol phones like Vonage, you can pick a telephone number, any telephone number. It doesn't matter where you live. So I don't care if you're in Dallas or Seattle or Los Angeles or wherever you might be listening on the internet. Pick the toniest, nicest, ritziest part of town. And get a cell phone number with that area code. In L.A., it would be 310. 310 includes Beverly Hills. 310 includes Bel Air. 310 includes Malibu. 310 includes many of the beach cities, the northern beach cities. Okay? Do not tell chicks you're an 818 guy or a 626 guy. Forget it, even if you are. Just because you live in Norco doesn't mean you can't have a 310 area code on your phone. Don't let chicks know you live in one of the areas you don't want to be from. Seriously speaking. If you live in Arlita, Pacoima, Panorama City, don't tell them that. Tell them you're a 310 guy. Tell them you live in Torrance, at least. Tell them you live somewhere in... Torrance is still 310, and I think it is. If you say 562, she might think you live in Long Beach. No. No. (laughs) You don't want to think you live in Long Beach? Not even the good part of Long Beach. But every city has got its place. You know, Atlanta's got Buckhead and Dallas has Addison. Use the area codes of the most upscale parts of town. That's your cell phone number. Get a home phone number. Use a VoIP number. And and put the, the best area code in town on your phone. If you do things right, she won't ever come to your house. So she's never going to know that your 310 phone is like in Watts. She's never going to know. She's never going to know. You don't want her to know that. You don't want her to know your 310 phone is in Pacoima. (laughs) If you have a 310 phone, she will assume you live in some nice area. I know we can't all afford to live in the ritziest areas. By the way, I live in 323, but I have a 310 cell phone. I'm telling you right now, I have a 310 cell phone. I practice what I preach. 
The goal is to appear as successful as you can. Keep the conversation to a minimum. Don't have a big, long dinner with her and start discussing things. Don't tell her you have a lousy car, you have a lousy apartment, you have a stupid roommate. Let her believe in her mind. You have your own place. It's big. It's many bedrooms. It's got a swimming pool. It's in the 310 area code. Let her believe anything. Your goal is to get laid. Once you've gotten what you want, who cares if she finds out the truth? You move on to the next victim. My job is to keep you out of relationships, to keep you out of commitment, and especially to keep you out of marriage. To make sure you spend a minimum of time, money, and energy trying to get sex out of somebody who's never going to give it to you. Men swear by what we teach in this classroom. Many women hate your professor, and they write in, and they there's a lot of bile out there. Especially these single mothers, we tell you guys not to date. They've already made at least one mistake. We don't want to be paying for the next one. If you have questions for your professor, if you've got critiques or criticism or complaints for your professor, now is the time to let it be heard. Tom Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Like It. Any guy out there who isn't single and is just kissing ass to his girlfriend right now, needs to get with the program and DTB. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. It's the Tom Likus Show, Likus 101. I am your professor. At 1-800-5800-TOM, that is our telephone number. It's Sarah on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Do you care, Sarah? Actually, I really don't. I didn't think so. Yeah, seriously. But anyway, I just had a quick question. Um, I'm a cute girl, and I'm 24, and I'm just trying to get married, not to a rich, but a very wealthy man. How do I go about doing that? Uh, well, first of all, you have to be a 10. Okay. Are you? Uh, I've been told I'm a 10, but I believe I'm like a 9. All right, well, that makes it a little harder. Hmm. What, <laughs> what do you look like? What do I look like? Um, I'm 5'7", I'm a brunette, I'm mixed, um, mixed heritage, what else? I'm... What is, what is the mix? I'm half Asian, half white. Okay. Okay, and then, um... <laughs> And uh, what is it called? I have a really, really tiny waist, and I have a really, like, nice, like, J-Lo ass. <laughs> so, I see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, what you... other information do you need to know? Well, that's, that, the, these are important. Okay. Uh, where do you go now to meet men? Um, actually, I just got back from um, out of the country, so I'm just basically getting... Um, you know, settled and just really just trying to get back up. Were you family. living in another country? No, I was just there, you know, for family. No, but I'm asking you, when when you're here at home meeting men, where do you go? Well, I go to, well, actually, where, um, I actually work at a place where um, I have access to those type of people. I just started working about a week ago. What kind of place is it? It's, um, you know, like really trendy. I don't kind of don't want to say. No well, we don't. Uh, come on, dear. This is, first of all, we don't know if Sarah's your real name. And uh, on top oh, of that, there's plenty. What? A trendy. Well, actually, actually, it is. So if like. Well, you just told us that, but we don't know that till you tell us. And even then, we don't know. I said, well, yeah, I work at a really trendy restaurant. <laughs> you work at a trendy restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Are like you a, a week ago? So you're a waitress. Yes, and I'm a student also. Right? Yeah. Being a waitress is not the best way to meet rich men, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Uh, because they're not seeing you at your best. I know. I know. You can't dress the, to to show yourself off. You can't be made up the way you would be if you I were... I know. Hmm? Mm-hmm. So, I agree. So working at a trendy restaurant is not going to help you in this regard. Okay, so tell me what I got to do. Well, you need to go to trendy restaurants that have a bar and camp yourself there. Uh-huh. For, for example, 
Uh, other things you can do, uh, there are private clubs that uh, rich guys belong to. They could be uh, at, at uh, marinas around town. Uh, for example, uh, I see you're calling from Canoga Park. Do you live in Canoga Park? I do, I do. Well, darling, you're not going to meet them there. No, I'm not. Yeah, I need to get out of the suburbs. You need to get somewhere near the water where rich men live. Uh-huh. You see? <laughs> okay. Rich men live, at, if they don't live near the water, they live uh, in the hills somewhere. You're you're not near either one. Oh, no. But I work, yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. So, I mean, where do you socialize? Um, I can go to those. No, no, where, where have you been going? Macaroni Grill, where have you been going out? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, you live in Canoga Park. Where where have you been going out? Yeah, I know. I, I reside there. Yeah, but where do you go out? Why don't you want to answer this question? Because <laughs> I'm afraid that somebody's going to peep dear, me I'm, Dear, again, I just... <laughs> what part of town? We don't have to know the address. Just tell me where you go. You know, like LA, Hollywood, Beverly Hills. You know. Yeah, but th th there's there's that there's nature. levels of places. Okay, for yeah. example, one of my favorite places to hang out is Lola's. It's a martini bar on Fairfax. Okay. Okay, but I don't see a lot of rich guys hanging out there. No, I see a lot no. of hot chicks hanging out there. But if they're looking to meet rich guys, I don't know if that would be the place to go. No, absolutely not. So, uh, okay, all right. So, assuming I meet a rich guy, then what do I do? What step two? But, darling, first, you're not meeting them. I sure will. <laughs> but you're not meeting them. And I have been meeting them. And I have been meeting them. And I'm actually. You're very... meeting them, and you're saying, would you like a doggy bag, sir? Well, what I'm, gonna, what I'm trying to say is that I've actually. I'm pursued by wealthy men all the time, but I've actually. You know, I'm guilty of being in love with a loser. You know, unemployed, you know. Um, well, so you want to cheat on him until you meet the right guy and yeah, then Yeah, I was just kind of giving him, him, you know, bread. I was giving him bread crumbs, you know, not the whole loaf of bread, but just to, you know, like a little bit of crumbs, you know, until something better comes along. Yeah. But, dear, uh, then then you're not completely available. I know. Exactly. I know. I'm, so, I'm a rich man. I and let, I'm a rich man. And if you told me you have a boyfriend or you have uh, you're living with somebody or whatever, I, what, why well, do I want to get well, involved in that? OK, wow. Well, a week ago, uh, what did it for me was, um, I mean, this guy, I mean, he goes to the shopping mall dressed in a four piece suit and still cannot get a job at the mall. And so that's when I realized, OK, this is ridiculous. And so it's officially over like a week ago. So, so like, you oh, told please. him it's over. Oh, yeah, it's a fish. And he doesn't oh, and yeah. he doesn't live and he doesn't yeah. and he doesn't live with you. No, 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 no way, no way, absolutely not. I don't even tell. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. That's absolutely not. All right. Yeah. Yes, but dear, okay. you have to vacate Canoga Park. You've got to move closer to where the rich people are. Okay, that's, I'm going to do that. That's not saying there aren't rich people in Encino or or places like that, but they're all married. Yeah, it's all family. It's all suburbs. Except for yeah. Michael Jackson. Is he still living in Encino? I don't know. Oh, I don't. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but, but, I need to get out of there, and that's exactly yeah, why I. The San know, Fernando yeah. Valley is the home of the family. I agree with you. I know. I know. So, I feel like such a fish out of the water. Well, really that's why do. you're. Not, that's why you're not meeting rich guys that uh, oh, no, are, you're getting involved with. Oh, I know. I know. Okay, you're so right. Oh my God, you're so smart. <laughs> I'm a rich guy. I know what rich guys do. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. And then you need to do the things that rich guys like to do, or at least be in the places where they are when they do them. Or where do they go? The golf course, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the marina, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. horseback riding, polo playing. <laughs> mm -hmm. so you've got to, you've got to be where the rich people are doing things. I know, I know. But you're not. I'm not, and I'm so gonna. <laughs> I mean, that's what you need to be doing. Yeah, I so need to be doing that. Okay. Did I answer your question? I suppose, and once I, yeah, I suppose. Oh wait, what? What? What did I leave out? 
Well, let me get that executed, and then I'll, and I'll be more than happy to give you a call back. <laughs> so then you can tell me. I mean, living in Canoga Park and dating your loser boyfriend and living near your family is uh, not the way to get this done. It's not the way to get it done. No, sorry. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's why you're not meeting rich men. That's why you're not dating rich men, because you're sitting there in Canoga Park, where right. girls your age go to TGI Fridays. Ew, yeah, no, no. Right. That's, yeah, that's By no. the way, man, when I want to pick up chicks like you, that's where I go. I'll yeah. roll out to, like, uh, Woodland Hills, TGI Fridays. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't be caught dead. No, no. Yeah, but many, many hot chicks who are too cheap to buy anything but a potato skin for dinner, uh, they are found there. Oh, I know. Well, let me tell you, I don't, I don't, trust me, I don't go to places like that if I'm having dinner. Yeah. Yeah, well, when a man isn't paying, where do you go? I know, but I don't want to say it on the air. I'm not saying the name of the restaurant. What kind of restaurant do you go to? Oh, upscale, upscale. So you, so you, so you take yourself. There, I will tell you, but you, I'm not going to say you, it Wait a minute, you take yourself and you pay for a hundred dollar plus dinner? No, I know. I I said when you're not with a man, listen to what I'm saying. With a girlfriend, having drinks. Yeah, but no, where do you eat? Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Where do you eat? I don't mean what. They, don't give me the address of the restaurant or the name of it. Okay. What, what kinds of places do you eat okay, when a man you know, isn't for paying? Example, for example, let's say just about two days ago, I was just having lunch on... Um, on Robertson, or was it Beverly? So you know, like that type of neighborhood. What, like the Ivy? You would, ne- no, you wouldn't no, pay to eat at the, the Ivy because you would never pay to eat at the Ivy. No, absolutely, I wouldn't. And yeah, absolutely not. That's why I want to marry a rich guy so that I could be able to go. But no, you, you, like the, you probably eat at the newsroom. I bet you're one of those. <laughs> it's close, I suppose. It's like Italian one. Right? There we go. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, you are so funny. <laughs> That's what they pay me the big bucks for, darling. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dear. Well, best of luck in your hunt. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. No, it's Tom. Man, you like the dopest cat on the radio. <laughs> you, you get a hood pass from me, sir. Anybody will come to the hood. I got your back, bro. I love that. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah, Like is 101 from Hollywood. I'm your professor at 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Jessica on the Tom Like is show. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? I'm great. Good, good. So, I don't have a question for you, I have a comment. I just, you know, I think you're doing a huge disservice to men by giving them the advice to. To give out a fake zip code, you know. Such oh, yeah. As fake, fake area code. Yes. Uh, uh, get a cell phone with a three. If you live in Southern California, get a cell phone with a 310 area code. Uh, you know, and, and get your uh, home phone. If you have a landline, uh, get a VoIP phone like yeah, Vonage yeah. or Packet 8 or one of those. And then put a uh, 310 area code on that. And then on top of that, never bring women home to have sex with them. Always go back to their place. They never see your place. And yeah. and then these women believe they're banging some guy who lives in 310. Well, okay. I, I totally get you on that. However, the bottom line is, at the end of the day, women love to sit around, drink wine, and whine about their problems with men. Now, the majority of women in this town, like the one that was... But those are the home, men they don't have sex with. You see, it's their gay friends. It's their so-called oh, no, male no, no, friends. It's their MySpace sex. friends. It's anybody but the guys they're having sex with. No, no, they're having sex with these men, and and I've heard this the story, the song and dance with the guy, and she says, oh, well, he says he makes this much, and he says he works, and and these are guys that are following that rule. However, what's happening, and what will eventually happen, is you're going to completely defeat the purpose, and women that are going to sit around, all of the idiotic women, not you know, not the sharpest tools in the shed. Darling, we're not looking for the sharpest tools in the shed. You're clearly doing this classroom. and by the way, we don't care. We don't care what happens eventually. Because once you find out that we don't live in 310 and that we don't make the money you think we make 
uh, we we've, we've already gotten what we've wanted and we move on to the next victim. You don't understand. We don't care if you eventually find out. No, what I'm trying to say, if I can finish, don't tell me I, how to wait a minute. Don't tell me how to run this class. I, I, I don't know how to run it. I'm no, just I will let you finish. You I will here. let you finish when I am ready to let you finish, and you will okay. not tell me when to finish or when okay. to start talking. Okay. I am in charge here, not okay. you. You're in charge. Okay, you're I, right. No, you will continue when I tell you. You can continue. Absolutely. Okay. So, is that it? That's it. Now you can continue. <laughs> wow, that was pretty amazing. I like that. Um, anyways, uh, you know what I'm saying is... Sounds like my hand you hitting you. your ass. Excuse me? Never mind, go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like that. Interrupt me too, it's good. Um, so what I'm saying is, when I'm sitting here talking to these women that aren't the sharpest tools in shed, whatever, smart ones, dumb ones... At the end of the day, they're going to confide in, in the ones like me that are going to give them advice, and eventually the pool of women are going, it's going to be very scarce. I mean, it may not be in our lifetime, but pretty soon here, it's going to get pretty bad. No, but then we move on to the daughters of these women, you see, once they're old enough. <laughs> I mean, I'm you darling. I'm 51 years daughter. old. I'm already turning down women who are who are my age, and I moved on to their daughters. Hey, you know, I I don't discriminate. There's a I whole mean, new crop of stupid women out there, and I plan to nail every one of them. So then, what advice can you give to somebody like myself who dates men that are younger than me? I'm 29. I've dated men that are 20. I've dated men that are 60. Well, why, why do you need advice if you're so happy with the way things are going? Why do you need advice from me? I'm not happy because I can't seem to find the right guy, and nor am I looking for the right guy. And I have more the mentality of, you know, I don't need to change my zip code because I live in... Uh, the west side. I have a 310. I mean, I, I, I have a guy's name. By the way, that's an area code, not a zip code. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I'm an area code. Sorry. I, my, my work deals with zip codes, and I'm on the phone all day long talking mm -hmm. to a bunch of idiots, so my, my brain fries on me. So, so why do you need advice? Well, I guess, you know, it's not that I need advice. It's just that what is the deal? Do do women that have a lot to say, just men are just men are just not interested in that? Is that the deal? I mean, even if they are wanting to have a healthy sex life and not have a relationship, let's just say I don't want a relationship at all. I think like, that's great. The last thing I want in the world is a relationship. Fantastic. Well, what do you do when you've got a bunch of idiotic men that claim to be that guy that doesn't want that? And I'm not playing games. Here. Do what I do. Hit them and quit them. If they, they, they get like that, they get too clingy, you dump them. So it's just a battlefield is what you're saying? Of course, it's, it's war out there. I say it all the time. Yeah, well, you know... I just was making a comment. I have a zero that. tolerance policy. Now, in my case, what do I have zero tolerance for? Arguing. There will be no arguing. Yeah. There'll be no yeah. compromising. There'll be no debating. I don't need your critiques on what I wear, how I dress, what I, <laughs> I what I eat, what I drink, if I smoke weed. Uh, no, your your advice not necessary, not welcome. The minute people start doing that, they get a swift kick out the door. Done. Yeah, un unsolicited advice is not welcome in my home either. Well, there you go. So the point is, when someone starts doing something you don't approve of, kick them out. Well, I do. And then I'm considered, see, I'm going to lose. Who cares? See, here. you're a typical broad because you're worried about what other people think. Who cares what other people no. think? I don't, but I have, you People know, think I'm, I'm a... Who cares what they think? You're right. You're right. Okay, you're right. You're right. Absolutely. And the most you know, important thing is getting what you want for you. That's it. But it's a lonely place out there. No, it's, really it's not. Place. I'm not lonely. You know how much... I've got people around me all the time. You're not lonely? Okay. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Well, I'll just uh, take a little video cam of you at Lola's one day and see how lonely you really are. Go ahead. Give it a shot. <laughs> Last year on Valentine's Day, I was at Lola's with a woman on each side of me. Oh, okay. And, how and, and I did it in public and I announced I was doing it so people would see it. Hmm, that's a good technique. Maybe I should just, um, do you have anything on your website where I can take notes? I mean, like a, you know, a daily rule book of, you know. No, you have to can. tune in. This is where the rule book uh, is given out, right here. Oh, okay. You need to sit and take notes. 
I am the professor, but like yeah. any professor, you have to sit down and take notes in my class. I don't write this stuff out for you. Uh, when you were in college, did class. the professor give you notes? <laughs> No, I just have to tape record it. But okay, well, you know, I just started listening to your show. I've called in a few times. And what's his name? Dino? Is his name Dino? Dino, yes. He's, he's a very witty guy. And, um, you know, I almost wanted to just drive over there and slap him across the face, but with love. And, you know, I'm hooked on your show now. Well, I he'd think. love to crack your ass, and then uh, the two of you will be off to the races. <laughs> well, I And you know you'd love me. it. I probably would because I'm competitive. So. When that when that dopey Dago cracks your ass with an open palm, I'll tell you what. <sighs> wow. Well, I'll, you'll be the first to know, Tom. You will be the first to know. Then you can lord your intelligence over him, and he'll be lording something else over you. Yeah, and then he's going to be the typical guy that says he's not clingy, doesn't want a relationship. And you know what? I'm going to be hearing about but it then you But then you dump his Dago ass. Okay, well, I like your style. I like your style. Keep continuing with this style, and I'm going to keep continuing to listen to your show, and I may call in every now and then. And I promise you one thing, Tom. What's that? I will never, ever interrupt you again. That's good. Especially if I'm cracking your ass. Well, wouldn't you like to? Wouldn't you like it? Well, maybe I would, maybe I wouldn't. I'll leave you with <laughs> like, that. Actually, I guess you'll just have to find out. Me with that? What's that? said why don't you leave me with that thought i, I don't want to be i don't i just did one eight hundred five eight hundred. tom is our telephone number it's jordan on like us 101 hello hey tom hey hey buddy i gotta thank you man what for you, uh you saved me uh all thanksgiving uh, christmas valentine's day i saved so much money you have no idea mm -hmm. uh Basically, day after Valentine's Day, went out, got two numbers, went out Sunday night, got two numbers, had Monday off, spent the night with one of them, then went to the other one's house, had a great night, buddy. All because of you. Love like, it. 101. Yeah, you saved me, buddy. Look at that. Hey, can you take me out with the bong rip? I certainly can. No golf. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Take your seat in the classroom here. 1-800-5800-866. It's Like Us 101 with Robert. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. All right. Well, first of all, I want to give you props for uh, your little rules about, like, spending, especially about spending money on a girl. Yeah. Um, I've been single for, like, two years. And I've been, man, I've been seeing so many girls. And they always pretty much want me to spend money on them, you know? Like, they just want a free ride. And they end up leaving you, like, probably, like... A month or two or something like that, you know? Right. And then after you're like, damn, you know, you pretty much are broke. You can't even buy, like... But see, the way to turn it around is spend nothing, uh -huh. have sex with them until they get sick and tired of you being a cheapskate. Then when they leave, it's like, it's the perfect crime. I, I got what I wanted anyway. Saw you naked, had sex with you, mm -hmm. and I spent nothing on you. Like, what places can you take them? Because, you know what, I don't live by myself right now, so I can't bring them here. Well, what are some cheap places to take them? Uh, El Coyote in L.A. <laughs> Ever been there? No. Mexican restaurant on Beverly Boulevard. Been there since the 20s. Okay. Four bucks. Four bucks? bucks for a margarita. Man, you know what? I get a lot of play, dude. So if say I go to a club or something like that, I get probably about 20 numbers. So let's say I'm, I'm about to take these uh, 20 girls. I mean, that's expensive. $40 <laughs> per each girl? No, no. You don't have to spend the whole 40 That's a maximum. Okay. That's a well, max. Like spend fifty cents girl. if you want. Huh? Spend fifty cents on each girl if you want to. Right. I want to get to the point where I don't have to spend nothing. Well, you can do that. Really? How? <laughs> uh, I only have about twenty seconds left here. It's a good question, but the bottom line here is that we've we've simple, uh, simplified it. That forty dollars is your maximum, and if you go to a place where margaritas are four bucks out of the gun, you're well on your way. You are well on your way. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com.